नमस्कार स्वागत है आप सभी का मैं हूँ कुसुम प्रसाद और आप देख रहे हैं पी विद्या चैनल नंबर वन और हमारा यूट्यूब चैनल एन ऑफिशियल स्टूडेंट्स आज हम लेकर आए हैं आपके लिए सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश क्लास वन के लिए और आज हम पढ़ेंगे पोयम द फ्लाइंग मैन इसे पढ़ाने के लिए हमारे साथ जो एक्सपर्ट स्टूडियो में मौजूद हैं उनका नाम है नीरज कुमारी जी जो कि असिस्टेंट टीचर प्राइमरी स्कूल जी एस के वी यू ब्लॉक मंगोलपुरी दिल्ली से हैं मैम आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है नमस्कार थैंक यू तो स्टूडेंट्स इससे पहले हम अपने सेशन की शुरुआत करें मैं आपको बता दूं हमारा फ़ोन नंबर जहां आप हमें मैसेजेस भेज सकते हैं हमसे कांटेक्ट कर सकते हैं तो हमारा फ़ोन नंबर है एट एट ज़ीरो ज़ीरो डबल फोर ज़ीरो डबल फाइव नाइन इसके साथ ही आप हमें ईमेल भी कर सकते हैं डी टी एच क्लास वन एट द रेट सी आई ई टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट आई इन पर इसके जरिए इसके साथ ही आप हमारे YouTube चैनल यानी एन सी आर टी ऑफिशियल पर भी जाकर उसके लाइव चैट बॉक्स में अपने मैसेजेस ड्रॉप कर सकते हैं और वहां से हमसे डायरेक्ट कांटेक्ट कर सकते हैं तो हम शुरुआत करते हैं आज का सेशन और रुक करते हैं नीरज मैम की तरफ और पढ़ते हैं आज का चैप्टर यानी पोएम द फ्लाइंग मैन मैम जी इस चैप्टर को इस पोएम को पढ़ने से पहले आई वुड लाइक टू प्ले अ गेम विद यू ऑल so everybody who is watching us right now we are going to play a game so okay. ma'am are you ready to play yes, this game yes ma'am i'm ready so this game is about acting i will act out some action words and you have to identify what did i do for example if i say can you identify this action sleeping sleep yes yes i was yeah. sleeping so like this you have to identify what i'm going to do and you have to tell me this action word are you ready ma'am yes ma'am okay so next action for you is this seeing yes so the action word is see or to look yes. right so next one for you is this writing something to write yeah write yes yeah? yes so i am writing next one is this chapak chap chap chapak chapak chap swim swim this was mm. swimming okay next one is chi sneezing sneeze yes you are very quick next one for you is this brushing yes i am brushing my teeth so this was brushing brushing next one are you ready here we go flying yes flying so our poem today is related to flying flying and the title of our poem is the flying man and this poem is taken from class 1 textbook Mary Gold and the title of the poem is The Flying Man. Now Kusum, can you see on the screen there is a big picture here. Yes, this is F M means flying man. Yeah. And a boy is standing in front of him. Yes. And where is the flying man? Is it on the ground? No, he is flying. He is flying. That means above the ground. Above the ground. Correct. and it's going high towards the sky sky i can see some clouds there yeah what is the color of these clouds uh the clouds are blue light blue and dark blue yes and what about the little boy the boy is looking uh, uh, he is amazed he is amazed and looking at the flying, flying man. man can you guess why is he surprised or amazed because he cannot fly Ah uh, maybe because mm. the boy cannot fly and he is looking at someone who can fly in actual life in real life people do not fly like this but here we have a character who can fly, fly. so this is an imaginary character and its name is flying, flying man. man like superman batman he iron man, man he, he man. man yes so this character this can fly therefore his name is the flying man now let us move on and try to read this poem flying man flying man up 
in the sky it means the flying man is where in the sky where are you going to flying so high so the boy is asking the flying man that where are you going you are flying so high up above the ground and in the sky but where are you going let's read the next stanza it says over the mountains mountains means very big high hills over the mountains and over the sea the water body sea so the flying man is flying over the mountains just above the mountains not touching the mountains and over the sea flying man flying man can't you take me so the boy is requesting the flying man that please take me can't you take me mm. so the boy is asking this now that we have read this poem now we will try and recite this poem aloud with some tune so are you ready kids we are going to do some actions and recite this poem aloud flying man flying man up in the sky let us do it one more time flying man flying man up in the sky where are you going to flying so high over the mountains so i have made these mountains because they look like this over the mountains over the sea sea is a water body and we have many water bodies like sea and river and lake so the boy is saying over the mountains over the sea flying man flying man can't you take me so the boy is requesting that the flying man who is going up above the mountains over the seas but can't you take me i also want to visit the, these mountains and sea so the little boy he wants to fly with the flying man so he is requesting this now kids do you know we have flying man in this studio do you want to look at it yeah definitely okay so here we go this is our wow, flying, flying man. man can you see yes and my, can you see its name here are also able to see and its name here fm, FM. flying man fm stands for flying man so this is our flying man that i have made let us recite this poem once again with this flying man flying man flying man up in the sky where are you going to flying so high over the mountains over the sea flying man flying man can't you take me so this is our poem the flying yes. man ma'am it's looking very beautiful yeah so our student also want to make this oh yeah, hame batayenge yes sure do you like this i can tell you how did i make it okay <laughs> first of all you will need some paper some colors pencil so what did i do i took one plain white sheet like this you can see on your screen now so this is a plain white sheet i took and then i drew using pencil the outline of the flying man like this you can yes. see the flying man here after drawing the flying man with the help of a pencil i made its outline like this yes ma'am they can uh, the students can take help of their parents or their elder brother sister you know yeah sure because they can't make this na no? yes you can always take help from someone other some other people and then after drawing it and making its outline i filled color using sketch pens you can also use crayons and other water colors whatever colors you have you can use that after coloring this sheet of paper i with the help of a scissors i cut its uh, outline and then what i got like this this cut out the this flying cut man. out yes and after that i pasted a double sided tape behind it and used one pencil so that i can hold it like this you can also use ice cream sticks 
or scale or some other wooden stick yeah and anything that is available in the home yes and uh, kids love coloring ma'am yeah. <laughs> they will definitely do, do this practice yes uh. so we can make flying man or he man superman whatever uh, puppet we want to make we we can make using this simple uh, pencil and colors mm -hmm. but for cutting this cut out you need to take help of some elder people because you are so small you yeah. cannot cut on your own yes okay now let's move on and see what we have next in our store for you so we have read the poem now we are going to discuss some new words that we have learned in this poem so first one is flying man flying man is the man who can fly right and we have one picture of flying man here next one is high high means up above some height that is high, high. something that is on a height next one is mountains so hilly areas some big hills are known as mountains, mountains. then we have sea the water body we have just talked about we can see it in the picture and lot of water and that is also not uh, sweet water that is in the sea and the last word is over over means something that is uh, above something but not touching it yes that is over now kids you can see one picture here can you identify what is it this is aeroplane this is an aeroplane have you seen this somewhere yes where in the sky in the sky okay in or television yeah in television yes and in the pictures of uh, their textbooks yeah in books and some newspapers, newspapers also newspapers so this is an aeroplane and it flies in the water right no no not in the water no then in the sky yes it flies in the sky like helicopter we see in the sky we see kite in the sky, sky right so this is an aeroplane and i have seen it in the sky in the newspapers in the textbooks now tell me imagine that you are a pilot flying an aeroplane okay kusumji you yes. are a pilot today okay. <laughs> okay now what you are going to do you have to think of something like if you are flying an aeroplane you are a pilot okay what things you are supposed to see in the sky sky yeah uh, if i am a pilot i am uh, flying uh, an aeroplane uh -huh. i will see clouds clouds sky right. uh -huh. and birds also okay and sometimes kites also yes and uh, what yes. about day and night because we saw uh, aeroplane in the day, day as well as in night, night. also uh, i will see sun also sun the during midday, the day daytime yeah and, and uh, rain also rain very nice air also correct C can you Breeze. see air no we can feel we can feel it yes. and what about the night time night time uh, there are so many things like stars mm -hmm. moon moon um, maybe the, bats bats also maybe yeah. not sure yeah. yeah so so many things we see in the sky in the daytime and in the night time now let's move on and talk about some rhyming words you can see some words written here yes the first one is sky and towards its right it's written sea C. so sky and sea these are the two categories now what we have to do kids we have to speak these words aloud and try to locate that which word rhymes with the sky and which of these words rise rhymes with c so i am writing here sky and c right so i have two keywords here sky and c, c. now from the ppt from other screen we can see many words written here we have to identify that which word rhymes with the keywords okay. so first one we have is c c means to look at to look at so c rhymes with sky or c sky or c c correct 
So, C means Samudra or the water body and C means to look at. Look at. So, C rhymes with the C. Now, next one is me. Me rhymes with sky or C? Me with rhymes C. with C. Now, the next one we have is Y. Y rhymes with Y sky. sky. Y sky. sky. So, I have written Y here because it rhymes with sky. sky. Next one is fly. Fly. Sky. Fly. Y. Yes. Now, let us move on and see the uh, PPT. Knee. It is C. Knee. C. C. Then we have high. Sky. High, Y, fly and, and sky. sky. Next one we have cry. Cry yeah, would sky. rhyme with sky. sky. So, we have written it here. Next one is P. P rhymes P with C. C. So, I have written P here. Next one we have try. Try rhymes sky. with sky. sky. So, I am putting a line here and write try. Next one is T. T that is in C. Yes. So, I have written T C. C. Okay. Next one we have dry. Sky. Sky. And the last one in the picture is key. key. It is it C. Now, let us read these words aloud. Sky, Y, Fly, High, Cry, Try, Dry. So, all of these words end with the same sound. Therefore, these are called rhyming words. And here we have rhyming words of C. C, C, Me, Ni, P, T, Ki. So, these all words sound similar and towards the end their sound is similar. Therefore, we call them rhyming words. Right? Yes. yes. So, we have discussed some rhyming mm -hmm. words here. Now, let us move on to our next section. And now who tell I? me, who am I? Yes. Who am I? My who name is, is Neeraj. Who is asking who am I? I am asking <laughs> okay. who am I? <laughs> you are ne Neeraj Kumari. Yeah. So, uh, we are going to play another game here that the name of the game is who am I? And you have to identify who is this, who is speaking this line. For example, you can see on your screen now a picture, right? This is a boy doing something. Is he cooking? No. No? What is he doing? He is drawing or painting. Yeah. He is drawing something on the sheet of paper and he has colors. And brush it in his hand. Yes. So, he is painting uh, he, on the canvas. Correct. He is painting on the canvas. So, who do you think this boy would be? He, A person who draws or paints is known as? An artist. An artist or a painter? Painter. Yes. So, this boy here is an artist. And we can see colors, brush and a sheet of paper here. That gives us clue that he is an artist. Next one. There are two pictures here. Yes. Who do you think they are? They both are doctors. How can you say because that they are they doctors? They are wearing that white uh, blazer coat. Okay. And one stethoscope also hanging around their neck. Uh -huh. Yes, you are right. Because of their dress, it seems that they are doctors. doctors. And with the help of this hint that they, there is a stethoscope hanging around their neck, we can say that they are doctors. And what do uh, doctors do? What are their works? Their job is to make sick people well. They help us become healthy, right? Hmm. So, a person who makes sick people well is a doctor. doctor. Now, here there is a person who is in khaki color and what does he have in his hand? He is, uh, in his hand a letter is there. A letter is there and, and post, there is a box, bag is a, yeah. around his shoulder. Yes. And the red color thing, what is it? 
uh, that box yes what uh, is it it is letter box it is a letter box so a person who brings letters to our homes is known as postman this is a postman post he brings letters he gives us letters so parcels. he yeah parcels also sometimes telegram also yes now there is another picture here and in this picture we can see a boy a man and there is With an uh, inch tape. tape and there is a machine yes this machine is swing machine swing machine and we can see some threads here some yes. needles so who do you think this would be he must be a tailor ha he must be a tailor so a person who makes clothes we can call him or her a tailor, tailor. right now this is my favorite person yes. can you guess kids would have seen this person many a times in their yes. lives right so there is a green board or we can say black board also and there is a stick who is pointing pointing out to something and this person is a person who teaches so we can call him a teacher, teacher. and uh, you are also teaching you are also a teacher and they are students yes so yeah. they will definitely matlab samajh jayenge ki yeah, teacher ko to bahut acche se samajh gaye honge yes. <laughs> they'll be able to identify yes. and relate to it now this is a picture where we can see some crops growing and there's a person who has one tool on his shoulder yes Food. and he is a farmer yes a person who grows crops is a farmer oh. right now this is our last game for the day you can see on the screen that some words are written and if we try to read it aloud it is flying man f l y i n g flying man man now the game is we can use these many letters and we have to make new words using these letters <coughs> so we can make small words as well as big words also so let's try and make some new words using these letters Maybe so we will make fast uh, okay. uh, new words because our time is also okay so first completed. one i can think of is i n in in yes and uh, an last word a n an an okay and fly also f l y f l y fly f l y fly yes then we can make am am a m am right and man man correct m a n man can we try uh, and make some other word okay so i think that ab ye ma'am apne students ko de dete hain agar wo kuch find out kar paaye isme se okay humne to nikal diya kuch wo bhi karenge students ki wo ek kuch aise alphabets nikal lenge agar unko milte hain ha ha to this is a homework yes okay <laughs> and for example wo dusra bhi koi word le sakte hain usme se sort out kar sakte hain words ko ji to they will definitely like this uh, they will do this experiment or this example and yes. they will matlab ki na khel khel mein wo seekh bhi jayenge ji and definitely they will uh, also try this activity that you have made this he man or fm flying man yeah so ma'am aaj ka ye session yahi hum uh, sampann karenge because uh, next class ka bhi time ho raha hai Jee. to ma'am aap yahan pe aaye aur hamare students ko aaj ka topic poem bataya the flying man bahut interestingly tarike se i hope students bhi bahut enjoy kar rahe honge aaj to ma'am thank you so much आपका बहुत बहुत नमस्कार थैंक यू तो मैम आप यहाँ पे आए उसके लिए आपको धन्यवाद करते हैं और हम स्टूडेंट्स को बताएंगे कि आपने अगर आपका सेशन नहीं देखा तो आप दोबारा से यूट्यूब को एक्सप्लोर कर सकते हैं और वहाँ जाके दोबारा से इस सेशन को दोबारा से देख सकते हैं और जुड़े रहिए है हमारे इस चैनल पर अभी कहीं मत जाइएगा क्योंकि बहुत सारे चैप्टर्स बहुत सारे सब्जेक्ट्स अभी आपको पढ़ने हैं तो आप देखते रहिए पी एम विद्या चैनल और हमारा चैनल एन सी आर टी ऑफिशियल इसके साथ ही हम आपसे विदा लेते हैं नमस्कार